Checking in with meteorologist Holt Hanley instead with more on, I mean, this rapid growth of the, um, the fire conditions this afternoon for firefighters out there. Yeah, to see a fire grow more than 45,000 acres in less than 24 hours is, you could say, rare, but to see that happen overnight is even more out of the ordinary. So let's just look at the fire perimeter or roughly where the heat is coming off of the fire at the moment to kind of get our bearings here. You can see Chico is to the south of it. It started just north of Chico and then it rapidly moved to the north yesterday because we had a strong southerly wind overnight. But again, seeing a fire grow more than 45,000 acres in less than 24 hours is, don't, you don't see that a lot. So I guess the question would be, how did this happen? So we had a wet winter that led to abundant grass growth and then that grass can dry out very quickly. It's also a lack of fire history in the area. So we've had fuels accumulating for decades now we've had a lot of heat this summer. We started off July with a heat wave and then we had above average temperatures over the last few days. So all those fuels that have built up then dried out and then we had very challenging conditions last night. I looked at one station on the ground around the park fire and at midnight it was still 78 degrees, relative humidity is still quite dry. And then again it was the southerly winds that remained overnight above 25 miles per hour that led to the rapid spread to the north. And then looking at the forecast this afternoon, with a fire this big, there's, it really depends on where you are, what kind of forecast you have. So I picked somewhere on the northern edge of the fire because that's where it's the most active right now. And you can see this afternoon expecting temperatures around 97, relative humidity dropping into the teens. So drier the air gets, the drier your fuels get, and then the easier it is for that fire to spread. Mostly because then the fire doesn't have to use up any of its energy to evaporate the moisture out of the fuels. Right when it gets to the next bush or tree, it's just ready to combust. But again, the biggest factor on this fire is that southerly wind, which should be picking up to more than 25 miles per hour this afternoon. Looks like it's going to be even windier tomorrow afternoon. There's now a red flag warning in place. So we'll definitely be following this over the next few days, and I'll have more details in my forecast coming up.